There's new hope tonight for tens of thousands of Australians who suffer from celiac disease. Researchers have worked out exactly what makes gluten toxic to celiac sufferers and say a treatment is likely to follow. As Kirsten Vaness reports, it promises to free them from restrictive gluten-free diets. It's clear three-year-old Honey Bartholomew loves her food, but when she was 17 months old, it was making her very sick. We just watched this gorgeous little girl go downhill. Um, she'd stopped crawling, she couldn't sit up anymore, so her development just stopped dead in its tracks. She was diagnosed with celiac disease and placed on a strict gluten-free diet, cutting out wheat, rye and barley. It's believed 200,000 Australians have the condition, which means when they eat gluten, their immune system attacks the lining of the small intestine. There's still significant damage in the intestine even five years after going on a gluten-free diet, so we need more. Researchers in Australia and the UK have now singled out the three protein fragments in gluten that are harmful to sufferers of celiac disease. Scientists have been trying to identify the toxic components of gluten ever since they discovered it caused the disease 60 years ago. They say this latest discovery is the holy grail of celiac disease research. The potential we now have is to go on and make a drug and that is very rare in research today. Scientists have already finished the first phase of trials for a drug that aims to desensitise celiac disease sufferers to the toxic effects of gluten. Dr Anderson says a drug for the disease could be seven years away. Kirsten Vaness, ABC News.